Did you know that astronauts lose up to 20% of their muscle mass even during short-term space travel? This is because of the lack of gravitational stress on their bodies. Hi, my name is Kanita. I'm a first year PhD student in bioengineering at Colorado State University. I work in the cellular engineering and mechanobiology lab where our research objective is to use key bioengineering principles to tackle the musculoskeletal degeneration that astronauts experience. What I do is first we take an idea and a hypothesis and try and show that it works here on Earth. So I use an animal model simulating the microgravity but here on Earth to kind of show proof of concept. And then there's a lot of intermediate steps, a lot of regulatory documents that we work with um, NASA to make it feasible that the astronauts in space can actually perform the experiments how we want it and in the time frame that's feasible. And then it's just a matter of when our mice can get on a uh, rocket and get to space. So there's always going to be failed experiments, but learning from them and creating new hypotheses out of the challenges is what I try and incorporate through my research and it's always a challenge and an evolving story. Uh, my advice would be to listen to yourself and uh, where your passion is and then also expose yourself to what all is out there. Talk to people. They call it networking but it's really just getting to know people in your community and um, learning about science.